Good evening. Welcome to our Compline service of St. George's Cathedral in Cape Town on the 24th of July, 2020. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to a new life in Christ. Amen. O Lord, O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forevermore. Amen. Before the ending of the day, that's going, that's going to be our song. Before the ending of the day, Creator Lord, to thee we come. Sorry for that. Just had a hiccup with my with my song. Our appointed psalm for today at Psalm 139, Psalm 139, we read from verse 1 to 18. The refrain is, Search me out, O God, and know my heart. O Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising. 
You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark out my journeys and my resting place and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but you, O Lord, know it altogether. You encompass me behind and before, and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, so high that I cannot attain it. Sledge me out, O God, and know my heart. Where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the utmost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me. Your right hand shall hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me, and the light around me turn to night, even the darkness is no darkness with you. The night is as clear as the day. Search me out, O God, and know my heart. For you yourself created my inmost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. Marvelous are your works. My soul knows well. My frame was not hidden from you when it was made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my form as yet unfinished. Already in your book were all my members written. As day by day they were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How deep are your counsels to me, O God, and how great is the sum of them. If I count them, they are more in number than the sand, and at the end I am still in your presence. Search me out, O God, and know my heart. Creator God, may every breath we take be for your glory. May every footstep show you as our way. <coughs> Sorry for that. That trusting in your presence in this world we may, beyond this life, still be with you, where you are alive and reign, one God, forever and ever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forevermore. Amen. Scripture today again, First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 9 and 10. God has destined us not for wrath, but for obtaining salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live with him. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth, I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye, hide me in the shadow of your wings. Nank Dimitris Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Now, Lord, let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of every people, 
a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for evermore. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. In our intercessions tonight, we thank God for the life of Andrew Langen, one of the last surviving Livonia trialists, who has just followed Dennis Goldberg, who just passed on a few months ago. We thank God for that leadership of those people like Andrew Langeny, who in a very unique and sacrificial way dedicated themselves for freedom in this country. We thank God again for the example, yes, O Lord, of being a very great person who fought against corruption all his life. We thank you, Lord, for his courage, that indeed he could be the one and the only one, O God, with Kathrada, who could confront, O God, corruption when it was sinking our country. Lord, thank you for men like Andrew Langini. Thank you for people, O Lord, who have lived sacrificially. Even as the country, Lord, is experiencing the flags flying at low mast. We truly are blessed that a person like Andrew Langeni has been part of us. Merciful God, you have prepared for those who love you such good things as pass our understanding. Pour into our hearts such love towards you, that we, loving you in all things and above all things, may obtain your promises, which exceed all that we can desire. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, O Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. And the blessing of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, rest and remain upon all of us, now and forevermore. Amen. Our, faith, our, our final hymn tonight is that great Methodist church, a Methodist hymn that I love with all my heart, which I just want again today to use in closing our complete.